Hello and welcome to Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury and Iron Sentry. Oh my lord! She left hiding the moment she was no longer capable of carrying children. Okay, guys, you can stand down, I don't need you. I might assign my son to lead an army. Is that my heir? Yes, he is. Good. You're going to take the flank right there. I'll teach you to be good. Trust me. 700, which means we can build stuff. Let's upgrade our hospital. A sick house, that will help, right? Interesting. Let's try it again. The kidnappers overwhelmed me and made sure I could not call for help by stuffing a filthy rag into my mouth. Luckily, they did not get far away with me. Chief Emmerich and the guard managed to free me and capture them. Did they say who they were working with? Should I do this man? Oh yeah. What? Did you just get captured? Bloody hell. Seriously? I wanted to make him a crusader. That was the only reason why he was there. Victory is ours. Well done, man. Stop it. I don't care if we lose men by that. Hey, look. My wife is pregnant. Never thought I'd see the day. I'm gonna send you some money. I don't think he can ransom himself for that amount. Oh! Otto Ludenberg has had split armor added to their treasury. Saintly skull. A mace. <laughs> Victorious crusade. God has gained King Otto of Swedia victory in the crusade for hours. Chieftain Anna of Nambon has been beaten at every turn. Though the war... Uh, throughout the war, and she has finally had to give up on her holdings in Arles. King Otto II has gained a new land of Arles in Teodaro Hondraki. The Pope has made an announcement about his victory and virtue of the crusade. As the true faithful protectors of the faith, with the pagans being pushed out of their old lands, there are certainly more conflicts to come. Praise be the God! Did my son just gain the title? Queen? Tobaudo, the pilgrim. I mean, what the hell game? <laughs> okay, that's almost repaired completely. Finally, peace. Yeah, don't pay any attention to that. We've already won. Wait, who the hell is this? Are you kidding me? Are there any other claimants for this title? No. That's fine. Seems like you're defending against someone. A defensive pact against this guy. 
against RLA. I need to claim my land back. Look at that disease everywhere. What the hell's wrong with Italy? Perugia. Why well, you have a de de jour claim on this? What about this one? It doesn't matter. Let's go our allies in. Or let's not. It's not that important. Okay, everyone. Over here. We're waiting for you. You stay there. How's the hospital looking? Hey, were you repaired? Finally. Took your sweet time, didn't you? That's Perugia right there. Go and take it. Why don't you go and help him as well? Are those mountains? They are. King Frederick, the missionary, has declared French war for Albedar's claim on Scientios for King Otto, the warrior philosopher. I'll purchase you something nice. So, what's the war about, mate? For this. The duchy? It honestly doesn't matter. And the Pope also declared war on me. See, that's why no one likes the Pope. Okay, attack that. Oh, look. Transfer this gothic blade of the cross from the treasury of Queen Tobag. <laughs> right, Tobaudo, the pilgrim, to the treasury of Kaiser Otto, the warrior philosopher. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Holy Blood Crown of Saint Yodith. How many troops can you support? 9,000, so there shouldn't be any problem there. My wife Hindemgar, uh, Hildegard asked me to buy her some new clothes because of the pregnancy she has outgrown most of her wardrobe and now she feels frustrated for not having anything nice to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance court hm. my dear you do not need new clothes you are already wonderful look at that disease everywhere Just go here and wait for me, okay? You. Go together. So... Pope. How much money am I gonna win? Yeah, Bulgarian claim. That's not my problem. I'm just gonna take my land back from him. And you, sir? 400 gold. Almost 500 from you. And 540 from you. Good, go and help him. Oh, wait. Did I have your daughter? Lost control of Genoa. You are kidding me. No, no, wait. Wait for him to attack. Then you can go in. 
and then go out, because I honestly don't want to suffer that attrition there. Smokebox killing us everywhere. And I'm no longer kind. Thank you for that. He would accept white peace. I would not, however. As tradition of my wife, healed the guard and went her um, churching after recovering and cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. Unfortunately, her mood was not improved by taking the holy commotion. Perhaps some old sin is still waiting on her soul. Well, let's talk to him. Did I gain kind back? No, you want me to marry this guy to this girl? Sure, she's though, she doesn't have any claims, might as well take it, right? Another great war just ended there. Oh! Of course I'll fight the commander. My, the vengeful shatterer, gleamed at the light of meeting Teodoro's eyes. I saw they were full of apprehension. I moved gracefully and brought my vengeful shatterer down upon him. They faded off at first blow, but not the second. Once it is done, I roar in victory. Oh, so I actually won this. I gracefully smashed him with my mace. Wait, did you just create a kingdom of Germany? Dude! Give me my land and you can leave with your limbs. Great, we purchased more stuff for my sick house. There. Make some soup. I received letters from Mayor Teodoro expressing a professional respect for my besting him in combat. I somehow made you one-legged. I assumed that I hit a bone, it cracked under my mace, and it had to go away, otherwise you would die. And we became friends. I never needed that lay anyway. 80. Ninety-five. Come on, give the bloody hell up. We need to take down France at once. Okay, we need another counselor. And since our horse is not available, we're gonna have to go with you. Trying the trips here. Well, Rome is fine now. Hey, look, I'm getting sick. I'm gonna die because of sickness. Okay, next, I need to take down the Holy Church. We have 30 ships, that's 3,000 men we can carry out. 6,000, 8,000. Okay, get on the ships. Just a moment, there you go. Don't worry about a thing. The problem is that France might actually be too much for our soldiers right now. Don't try anything stupid, I just want this to end.
I have cancer. Oh, it's so much worse than before. Just try to heal me. I feel amazing. I'm still incapable, however. Minus two, minus three, minus five, plus three. Again, still incapable for some reason. Don't you just chop something off of me so I could feel better? I already thought I was gonna leave with one leg after that guy. Well, I shattered this guy's leg with my mace. Don't know who you guys are, but I don't need ya. Speaking of not needing anyone... My son is going to lead that army so we can move a little bit faster. Hey look, money. Good. Do I need to build anything in the hospital? No. There's the barracks. And another barracks. Are you serious right now? Another blast has passed. Great. I'm not gonna read that because it's boring now. Six thousand men! We just lost three thousand for no good reason. I need you here. Now. You as well. I'll need to take this as well. Actually, can I offer you vassalization? He's gonna say no. If I send you a gift. He's gonna say no again. Okay. It's amazing how many men we just lost because of that winter. Well, he lost some men as well. Okay, I don't know who you are, but you keep on spamming and not doing anything. Okay, go take this back. The conversion of Chernigov. Your Orthodox. The tribes of Chernigov have been converted to the Orthodox faith. A group of priests sent by the Tsar of Bulgaria have performed a great ritual during which they have converted the entire population. It's nice to know that Bulgaria is actually doing quite a lot. Great, we have a soup kitchen. How's this going? How long before you're completed? It's on 71%. Okay, I'm taking this back. Good. Now, I need just half of you right here. Brilliant. Let's see if he's gonna be dumb enough to attack me. I need good warriors, three of them at least. There's one. There's two. And I need you to organize the army. That's 14. Uh, not the best. Is that heals? Forced. So 
So you're going for Verdun. Interesting. Okay, who are the worst commanders? My son, of course. Ten. It's not as bad as it looks, trust me. Did you assault it? He did. Twice. Hey, look at that. Bulgaria won. This is amazing. My allies are proving very powerful. Maybe it's time for them to pay up some of their debts to us. I don't need to give this boy something before we lose him to Flanders. The church wants to organize a miracle play for the local saint in our demise. They seem to feel that it should fall on the shoulders of the, for me to pay it. Um, very well. We still have the antipope, right? Yes. Well, the pope's days will come soon enough. Okay, go and take that back if you can. My niece, Duchess Agnes, has asked me to spend some quality time with her. Wonderful. Duke Popo, Agnes and I had a great time together. I feel we have really straightened our family bonds. Good. Oh, he has an infected wound and he has expelled all the Jews. We almost lost that. Finally, it's time for us to take our land back. Can you drill the soldiers? That's not gonna help. You're the new court chaplain. There's a lot of land we need to convert. As fortune would have it, we can convert those too. Now. Good. Twenty five. Move here. Thank you. Twenty nine. Do you have enough men to stand against me now, King? I mean, as long as it's not room. And that's 44%. Now, we should probably start pushing into his own lands, but for now, let's just defend against his ilk. It's forest, it's fine. You take the center. You don't need to be there. I mean, I know that you're supposed to be good, but you're not. Oh, that's good. You're completely crushing this saint. And you completely crushed this king. I died. A 
Okay, I need to win this war now. It's imperative that I do so. Hurry up, hurry up, say yes. Okay, great. Now, everyone stand down. This is an order. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Now. Wait. Rutania. There is gonna be a holy war for Pomeralia. And you didn't fall away from me, so that's great. Let's take a look. If I declare a holy war for this, say. Good. Are you a part of any coalition? No, but you're Romova. Hmm. Oh, look at all the prestige we have with this guy already. Prince Otto of Germany. He has a lisp. That's fine. They want Messian. There you go. Are you trying to seduce someone? Do you have any lovers? Yes, you do have one. She's not married, so good choice there. Do I need anything else? Well, I apparently owe money to the Jews. Oh my god, you had money, man. Let's repay them. By indulges from your sins. Okay, good. Holy War for Pomeralia. Holy War for Kuryavia. And Holy War for Pomerania. I need to choose a successor. Also, Viceroys. Can't go without those, right? No, just want you to have the Viceroy of this entire kingdom. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Ah, look at Bohemia. It's big. And this belongs to me. Let's hope he never tries to revolt. You can have this. Okay. Title's lost on succession. Inheritance. I'm going to nominate... No, not this guy. Why can't I nominate my brother? He is my brother, right? No, my cousin. For some reason I can't nominate him. We have a bishopic? Doesn't sound right. Now Denmark might join a war against this guy, but it doesn't matter. Capua. Let's negotiate with you. My uncle. For 310 gold. No. Oh, 
Well then, let's see how this is gonna go. I guess I don't need my own troops. And someone just made Germany his primary title. Okay, I'm gonna give you Swebia as a Viceroy title. Then I'm going to transfer Milan to you. Basically all of Italy will be yours. Next, Genoa. Tuscany. She is matrilineally married to the King of Genoa. Oh, wow. Is that all of them? Well, we still have Spoleto to gain. There you go. Now, you can declare war on France and claim your rightful territory. You're trying to kill this bishop. I'm not gonna stop you. Bishops are terrible. What kind of character is this guy, by the way? He's a proud, drunkard, diligent, just, lustful, greedy. Crowned by the Prince Bishop of Gottenfreit. Groomed, Rony, and a hunchback. A seductive hunchback. Do we have any other kingdom we're holding currently? No, it doesn't seem like it. Then we'll be fine. So how many troops do you currently possess? Out of curiosity, 5,000. Okay. The Holy Father has granted us absolution. For 200 gold. Fine. Glory to God, I have so much money, I don't even know what to do with it. Do the keep here. Yes, I do want to do. I do know what to do with it. Spend it for stuff. Is that him? Oh yeah, it's him, alright. And someone just created the Kingdom of Italy. Was it you? Yep. Good for him. I was hoping for that. Now I'm not worried because it's held by my dynasty. If he ever decides to revolt, well... You have the Duchy of Saintsmark. What's your name again? Duke Otto II. There you go. And you created a new duchy. Great.
Yeah, they are joining those defensive packs against me, but it's no use. We've already have our wars. Mostly. I need to take Provence as well. Well, not over, but just this little province here. For the beautiful borders, that's all. Okay, what to do with you? Hmm. Go on duty, my boy. Do you have any daughters I can marry? He's nine. How about this one, matrilineally? No, because too high on the line of succession. Is he? Fourteen. Too high on the line of succession. No, he's not. Well, I'm glad that you can actually see what I'm going with. Any climbers? This guy. Can you believe that? We can actually make him the king of Hungary and take it all for ourselves. Yes, I know, you're creating a lot of duchies. I already like this guy quite a lot, and he likes me as well. Hmm. We can go with seniority succession. Elective Gavakin isn't a good idea. The Viceroy of Germany. So we're clear, we're actually wholly warring for this. Four provinces, not just these two that are glowing. And we want Pomerania, which is this one province, but still. How much money do you currently possess? Out of curiosity. A hundred gold. What about you? Oh, it seems the King of France also died. Can you become my vassal? Yes. Okay. Can you? No, because he doesn't like me. How about now? No, because I'm a foreign culture. Well, the culture doesn't matter that much. I'm just gonna have to take it from you once you die. How old is this guy? He is 48. There you are. Well, I can't imagine that you will survive long because we don't have this title. Hmm. I was absolutely certain that you would create at one point. You're trying to do something. Expose him and arrest him. We need the money. Need. We want the money. What is this? I have a castle here. This is the barony we have. We don't need. Thank you. It's so difficult to organize the troops when the nation is so big. 11,000 men. Whole shine. Is that a republic? It is. Why don't you just get lost? In fact, I'm going to help you a little bit. Go and kill him. No, I am not going to lead an army. Why? Where are the rest of them? Wait, is that it? Because my martial score is at 9. 9 is a decent score. Can I negotiate with him? I think I tried, but that didn't work. I have so much prestige. Okay, build this. And military training grounds. 
How old is this guy, by the way? 53. How old was my father when he died? We don't actually need to look for him, and not my father, my grandfather. He was 71. Well, he lived a successful life, died of cancer. Or maybe it was low old age, you know. 71. Very few people reach that age at that period. And you're no longer hiding. That is amazing. Wanted to take this. Both of those. So, you guys don't seem to be moving at all. Who is this woman? Oh, uh, half of you here. Come on, don't suffer attrition, thank you. I want you here, and you go here. Do you really want to fight me there? Thought so. Blessed has passed. Otto Lurupinger lived a pious life, truly following the examples of God. Let, let me just say that this guy was a lunatic and was excommunicated by six popes. Twenty-third of April, ninety-eight four nine hundred eighty-four. Is that mean that you have another bloodline added? Hmm. He passed on twenty-third of April, nine hundred eighty-four, and people have long wondered if he would be a considered true Christian or not. Well, of course they are. A large ceremony was held in Otto's honor by the Pope to celebrate the life he lived, a virtuous exemplar of true Catholics. The Pope will write his name in amongst the pious Christians of old, the bastion of piety in life, a steward example in death, blessed be his memory once again in the arms of God. I am actually shocked, truly shocked. That his child, that he had a child with a woman who was 45. Well, blessed be his name. Gained a lot of piety by that. So, Germany, are you attacking anyone? No, I'm surprised, honestly. Request a divorce. No. I cheated on my wife. I demand that you divorce us. I have been unfaithful. Right, so... By the way, in case you're wondering why I renamed the Holy Roman Empire Germany, it's because of the Pope. I believe he had me excommunicated and then I took Rome and was like, yeah, this is not going to be the Holy Roman Empire. This is simply going to be Germany, as we all know. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all for joining me, and I'm going to see you all for the next one. Goodbye.